Yeah. I'm here in the studio this morning with our sports expert, Kyle Hansen. How are you doing this morning? Doing well, James. Thanks for having me. Good to see you. Good to see you too. You know, it's another week, another big Grizz game at home again. Tell me a little bit about their opponent. This one's really exciting, honestly, because they are playing a team that made the FCS playoffs last year in the University of South Dakota. Obviously, everybody saw the shellacking that they gave Northwestern State last right. week, 47 nothing. Gets a team that hadn't made the playoffs in a long time and hasn't had a winning season in a long time. It's a totally different script this week playing against South Dakota. South Dakota actually beat South Dakota State last year. Their rival, South Dakota State, as we all know, one of the best teams in the FCS right up there with the Montana yeah. schools. So I'm really excited. I think it's going to be the toughest team they play in their non-conference portion of their schedule, and I think it's going to be a fun one on Saturday. When, when you say toughest team, in what ways do you think that they're really going to challenge the Grizz? So offense, defense, special teams, anything special like that? Really a mix of all of it because they bring so much talent back from last year. Okay. I believe they said they're bringing back nine starters from last year's offensive side of the ball, which, you know, that's huge, just, you know, especially in college football because continuity can be so hard right. to come by. And so when they have so much returning talent on both sides of the ball, you know, their defensive line is something that Bobby Houck mentioned that stood out to him. So I think, you know, they can be tested in any way, shape, or form. The Grizz can by the South Dakota team just because they have that experience, they have that talent. A lot of these guys know how to beat top teams, whether it's on the road or at home. Yeah. So I think that's some of the biggest things is they're not going to play a team that's going to be wide-eyed coming into Missoula on Saturday. Do you think there's any successes from last weekend that the Grizz may feel like they can push again through to this week? Maybe any weaknesses in the Coyotes? Uh, you know, I, honestly, I think the, at the Grizz, it's all about riding that momentum, especially what they did last year because they were so successful in all three phases of the game. You know, you get a special teams touchdown. The offense looked great. The defense right. was basically picked up where they were last year. So I think if they ride that momentum, you know, it should be – you know, another convincing win for them if they kind of continue this train. Obviously, like we mentioned, they will be tested a little bit more in this regard. But as long as they kind of kind of keep those things going, you know, the Grizz shore up some things on offense, like, you know, maybe some overthrown balls, maybe yeah. some missed blocks on special teams. The kicking game wasn't that great this last week. So if they shore up some of those things, I think they're going to be looking pretty good. And, you know, we'll go ahead and take a look at the South Dakota team a little bit more in depth here and what the Grizz can expect this Saturday. It's full steam ahead for week two of the college football season for the Montana Grizzlies. The Grizz opened their season with a 47 to nothing thrashing of Northwestern State, but now turn their attention to a Missouri Valley Conference school in South Dakota. The Coyotes were an FCS playoff team a year ago and bring a plethora of experience back from last year's team into this campaign. Sound is the key word. They don't, they're not going to beat themselves. They're going to be hard to move. <clears throat> last time we played, they did some things that that challenged us with some of the movement things up front. They've got nine starters back on offense, including four of the five offensive linemen, so they're experienced. It's going to be a, a big challenge. Houck was also impressed with South Dakota's defensive line, a group he thought played well in their season opening loss to FBS Kansas State. For Montana, it's about improving on their already strong start. Quarterback Lucas Johnson shined in his first game as a Grizz, throwing for four touchdowns on the day, while the special teams also came up with a score. Against the Demons, Montana's run game was diverse in their approach, with Johnson and their stable of running backs, as the offense found a nice balance. Having explosive ball carriers like that we have in our offenses, it, it makes our job easy. Make our calls, block our guys, do our job, and, and let the guys with the ball in their hands do their thing. The Grizz defense picked up where it left off from a year ago, and even new starters stepped up to the plate, with Anaconda native Braxton Hill earning Big Sky Conference Defensive Player of the Week honors in his very first start, using last year's experience as a backup to propel him into this season. Yeah, I would say it was no different than last year. You know, just any time you uh, step out on the field, just do anything you can to help the team win. So, yeah, it was great to be out there and great to be back playing games in front of the home crowd and just glad we got the win. The Grizzlies saw South Dakota in 2019 and are looking for similar results as that victory three years ago. It's a huge game for us to try to get to 2-0. We know that they'll be well coached, they'll be big and physical, and we'll have our hands free. Reporting in Missoula, Kyle Hansen, MTN Sports.